Hello there. Welcome back to Grandma Ray Don't Play and I'm Rachel. So I had uh, eight chicken thighs and I cut the uh, chicken off the thigh bone. Okay, so I'm going to use that in another setting. And for this setting, I want to show you how to make chicken stock. So chicken stock is the same thing as chicken broth, okay? It's what you use to flavor food. You can flavor, like if you're going to make chicken soup, or if you want to flavor a vegetable, or anything like that, okay? So that's what I'm going to show you how to make now. With the bones that I cut the chicken thigh meat off of, okay? Alright, so let's get started, alright? One second. Okay, here's the bones that is left over from when I cut the chicken thigh off these bones, okay? Alright, so this is eight of them. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put them in this pan. And then we're going to add water halfway of this pan, okay? So this is a large size pan, I want you to see that. And we're going to add the water just halfway, okay? So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I have the water halfway in this pan. So what we're going to add now is, now normally you can just boil this just like this and then you strain it and you just keep the broth and that's your chicken broth, okay? Now when you do that, it comes out a little weak. It's not as strong as you would buy some chicken broth in a can or in a container. That's because they use a lot more to make it, okay? So what I'm going to do is enhance that. So I'm going to make, I'm going to add, this is uh, two medium onions cut up very, very fine. I put mine in the food processor, but if you don't have a food processor, you put yours as fine as you can cut it, okay? I'm going to add that to it. Now let's add some salt, just a little, get the water started. Okay, also you can get chicken broth from, like if you bake some chicken in the oven, the drippings that is left over in the pan, you pour some water in it and stir it up with a fork or something to get all the drippings from the bottom up and then that's your chicken broth, okay? Okay, so we're going to let this boil a while. And when I say a while, it's probably, the whole process is probably going to be about maybe 45 minutes, alright? Okay, so let's turn that on on high. And we'll let that just go for a while, okay? Alright, I'll be back soon on that. Thank you. Okay, so let me give you the word of the day while the chicken broth is... Just about done. About another minute, I, I think I can check on it and take the bones out, okay? So let me give you the word of the day. The word of the day is... One second. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. The word of the day is... You're sick, and you're sick, and you're sick. But yet... You won't go to the doctor, you won't seek out help, all you want to do is complain about your sickness. Well, you don't want to get well because you're not doing nothing about it. Please stop complaining, help yourself, okay? Maybe you need to take your medicine or maybe you need to follow the doctor's instructions or maybe you need to go see the doctor. Do something okay to help yourself stop being sick 
and complaining about being sick and do something about it, okay? All right, that's the word of the day. Do something about your sickness, will you? Come on, we all want you well, okay? All right, so let me turn you to the chicken broth. Okay, so this is our chicken broth. And it's been boiling with the chicken bones for 45 minutes. We're going to take the bones out now. Remember we had eight bones. If you don't have eight, you can do it. Ball three. Have a much broth you want to make. Okay, you don't have to have a whole lot. Have one more if I can get it. Wow, I can't get it. Are you kidding me? Here it is. Okay, so they're all out. This is the bones that we boiled to make our chicken broth. Okay, now I want to enhance that flavor. So I have some chicken broth that I bought from the store. You said, you're saying, well, if you bought it from the store, why are you making it? Because I'm going to make more this way, okay? You may run out of this broth that you brought from the store. But this you can put in small containers and freeze it and put it in the freezer and you'll have it. Okay, one, two three heaping tablespoons of chicken broth I put in there. Now I'm going to stir that and let that cook for about maybe two minutes just to come together and then I'm going to taste it and see if I need to add more or not. This is to strengthen the flavor, make it stronger because you know the broth you buy in the store is concentrated. This is concentrated, even though it's a powdered form, okay? Okay, so we're going to let that come back up to a ball in a few minutes. Okay, now, what I'm going to do with these bones is, I'm going to put cold water on it and let, let it get cold. And then I'm going to pick the meat off of this, okay? And I'll be back. Okay, that's how much meat I got off of the bones that I took that from the chicken broth. That's quite a bit of meat, right? You can add that to something. You can save it and add it for chicken soup. Or you can eat it with your uh, breakfast in the morning. Have some scrambled eggs and chicken. Or whatever, right? Okay. So now I want to taste the broth after we have added the powdered broth to it and see what I'm missing. I'm just going to taste a little. It's good. Nice strong flavor. I don't need to add anything else to it. So the only other thing that I'm going to do now is I'm going to strain that through a strainer to get any uh, other big pieces of chicken or stuff like that out of it, okay? Anything that fell off the bones. Alright, so I'm going to strain it and I'll be back to show you that afterwards. Okay, so remember I had added an onion. So this is the onion and anything else that came off the bone that I strained the broth through. Okay, so I poured the broth through the strainer and this is the end result. Okay, so that we're going to throw out. I just wanted to show you that because you remember I added an onion, but you don't want it to show up in your broth. You want only the flavor. And this is our broth. See? How about that? 
So I already taste it and you got my approval. It is good. Okay, so you're going to put that in small containers and put that in the freezer. And whenever you need broth, guess what? You have plenty of broth. Practically free, right? The bones you would have just threw in the trash. But we boiled the bones and made some use out of it and made the chicken broth, right? In addition to that, remember, we have this excess meat that came off the bones that I, put, I picked off the bones after they were boiled. So it's a win-win situation. So I used the chicken uh, thigh in a meal, then I made broth, and then I have the excess meat from the bones that I'm going to use for my breakfast in the morning. How about that, huh? Out of eight chicken thighs, I did three things that you could do with it to accommodate three meals. That's a good deal. Okay, until next time, if you really, really like that, I think I brought it home to you today. Hit that like button, please. Okay, share the video. Let somebody else know how to make chicken broth. Okay, and if they don't have the powdered chicken broth to add to it you can you do the powdered packages okay either way all right and until next time i'll talk to you later from grandma ray don't play bye